What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video guys. Sorry I have been gone. Um, I actually have videos lined up for you guys from the past week. Um, I got some from Formula Drift which is where I went and then I have some of Nick racing. If you guys remember him he has a white EcoBoost Mustang. Um, but my editor has been being really weird like the, the software that I've been using. So it like wants to not stall but it like quits halfway throughout the render. Um, so hopefully this one's gonna be better. I am finally back on my uh, 4k camera I think I'm using like 2.7 K or something like that, but um, Today's video is gonna be how to get and how to keep car sponsors So if you guys already know I have a few car sponsors of my own I have uh, silver's cozy customs. I have s for 50 parts and then I have top label who was one of my original car sponsors I also had super clean as a car sponsor and uh, we parted ways, but um, I might get back on with them later on uh, in, in, in life. But um, this is what this video is about, five ways to keep and get car sponsors. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, hit that spon or sponsor, <laughs> hit that subscribe button to be on, and uh, the bell icon to be notified. You can tell I haven't been, I've done this in a while. Um, to be notified when my videos do come out, I am almost at 1,000 subs, which is my goal. Hopefully I can hit it by the end of the year. Um, I have some videos coming out for you guys, so let's uh, go ahead and get into that. So um, go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get started. So like I said, so like I said, um, this video is about five ways to keep and to get car sponsors. So um, first one is never ask for free parts. That is every company's worst freaking question. Um, I remember when I first got my car, my Focus actually, um, I did that. I was like, hey, you know, free parts, you know, this and that. But now that I'm more, I guess, older in the car game, I guess you'd say, um, yeah, asking for free parts is not good. Um, they'll all instantly shut you down. Um, there is times I get emails for like people to like send me out products. I mean, I've had free free products before like when I was uh, doing uh, product reviews and stuff like that but that's like really really rare that that would happen so don't ask for free parts guys or free products that's just really childish and really amateur um, yeah just don't do that um, everybody's gonna hate, hate you for that so number two is staying engaged with the person and well by then now you have a car sponsor so let's say you have a car sponsor or a product sponsor or whatever. Stay engaged with your your uh, your the person who's sponsoring you. So Silver Cozy Customs, uh, they did my shift boot, uh, shift boot and e-brake boot. Um, I stay engaged with them all the time. Um, even the owner's like actual personal page, I'm always commenting, I'm always messaging, seeing how they're doing and everything like that. You know, stay engaged. That's that's when they're like, oh, okay, you know what? This guy's good. He's, you know, he's going to be a good fit for the team. Um, the reason why I say team is because, you know, if there's a bunch of cars on being sponsored by this person, that's your job to represent that company. If you go to a car show, car meet, YouTube, um, that's your responsibility to always give them a shout out or, you know, let their brand be known. So just stay engaged with them. Um, you know, if you have stickers, get stickers. If you have, you know, shirts from them wear the shirts around and people are gonna ask oh you know what company is that like i'm not sponsored by cobb but i wear my cobb shirt all the time because that is a great company um that i would one day want to work with but you know if it happens it happens it doesn't it doesn't so yeah that's um that's one one good one good reason to uh stay with them or to to be engaged um also sharing and commenting on their posts like i said earlier you know, simple stuff. So, um, that also goes in, number three goes in with number two, help promote. Always help promote, you know, whatever the case is. If you're out and about and someone's asking, oh, hey, you know, where can I get this part from? Oh, you know what? Hey, I got a, I got a guy, you know, I got a sponsor, you know, hit them up, see what they can do. You know, if there's a code, uh, a discount code, use a discount code just to help somebody else out. And it helps you help them. You sometimes can get a kickback from using the code. You can, you know, 
let them be known that oh actually i have another sponsor i forgot um fresh labs which does my um which does my um incense uh, in the car they're they're another good sponsor of mine and i actually have a sweater somewhere around here i think it's right there but um yeah they they're another good sponsor of mine as well um keeping a healthy relationship you know always asking hey what's what's new going to be coming out you know what can i do to um to stay engaged so I can help you guys grow, you know, just keeping a healthy relationship with the the sponsor or car part sponsor that you uh, that you have. There's a bunch of different sponsors out there that you can always always get, and just keeping a healthy relationship is always key. Um, number five is be persistent if you're trying to get into a car sponsor. So, um, what do they say? Like if you're dating, like if you're in the dating scene, you know, shotgun blast, you know throw your shot over here, throw your shot over there, throw your shot over there. You know, one of them is going to bite. Um, that's what I did. Um, actually, a couple companies went to me because of YouTube uh, when I was doing product reviews and stuff like that. But um, be persistent. You know, always ask, hey, you know, are you guys taking car sponsors? You know, hey, is there a discount code that I can use? Or, hey, you know, what does it take to be uh, sponsored by this company? You know, is there application? You know, just spitball to every... Um, every company that you can think of or that you would want to be uh, associated with. That's the main thing is being associated with a company that, you know, you're going to want to be engaged with for a long time. My mouth is getting dry. But um, those are the five things. And like, you know, like I said, just don't be afraid to ask. Don't ever ask for free car parts or products. It's just dumb. Sometimes they'll do it. You know, sometimes they'll do it. Um, but other than that, guys, I guess that's it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you guys want me to do another video like this, like do's and don'ts of like, you know, YouTube or car scene stuff, I think I might do a car scene one. Um, the do's and don'ts of going to meets and stuff like that, which I don't ever go to meets anymore. So, um, unless if they're sanctioned events, but enough jibber jabber, guys. Hope you guys like this video. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. But please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified when my videos do come out. And I will catch you guys all in the next video, guys. Peace out.